Once we start studying integers, we eventually have to be able to do bed mass problems involving integers. Here is an example. We have negative 3 plus, and then we have a large bracket. Inside the bracket, 6 divided by negative 2 minus negative 5 plus 1. We have a bracket, we have a division, we have pluses and minuses, and we have several negative numbers involved. If we apply the rules of bed mass and apply the laws of integers, this should be no problem. Do one thing at a time and write a new line for each operation you do. Bed mass says brackets first. So we are ignoring the negative 3 plus, and we are starting our work with this bracket. Keep in mind that I put a bracket around negative 3, but this isn't a bracket as an operation. This is a bracket that is there just to stop me from missing this negative sum. It makes it easier to read. There's no operation inside this bracket. In the large bracket, we have divided by minus plus. Bed mass says we have to do division first. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. And then we copy down the minus negative 5 plus 1 and close our bracket. Next, we're still inside this bracket. And our next operation is either the minus or the plus. We get to the minus first, reading from left to right, so we're doing it first. We have negative 3 minus negative 5. Applying the laws of integers, negative 3 minus negative 5 is the same thing as negative 3 plus 5. Negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2. So we write the answer positive 2, and then we copy down the plus 1, close our bracket. Now we just have a 2 plus 1 in the bracket. 2 plus 1 is 3. I write the answer. I don't need the bracket anymore. And we have negative 3 plus 3. Again, applying the laws of integers, negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. That's our answer. Let's do another example of bed mass involving integers. This example has a lot of brackets involved. We have a big bracket here, and then a divided by, and then a big bracket. Those brackets have to be done first, and the tiebreaker between them is the one on the left first. So we're focusing our attention on this big bracket. But inside the big bracket, we have a smaller bracket that has negative 7 plus 5 in it. And just to make things a little bit more confusing, the negative 7 is in a bracket so that we can see the negative sign a little better. But, reading it carefully, I see that the first operation I have to do is the innermost bracket here, negative 7 plus 5. And negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. This becomes 9 times negative 2. And I copy the rest down. Nine times negative two is negative 18. I have an answer for this big bracket on the left side, and I don't need the bracket anymore. I have to copy the rest down, divided by, and then the other bracket. Inside this bracket, I have three minus eight plus 11. The minus and plus are in a tie, and I do the leftmost one first. So I'm going three minus eight first. I copy down minus 18 divided by 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Again, I'm writing that in a bracket just so that I can see my negative sign better. And I copy down the plus 11. All that's left in this bracket now is negative 5 plus 11. And negative 5 plus 11 is 6. I copy down negative 18 divided by, and this bracket is now just a 6. Finally, I can do my division. Negative 18 divided by 6, if we apply the laws of integers, gives negative 3 as its answer. We are done. This is how you do bed mass problems involving integers.